In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to copy, cut, and paste in Microsoft Word 2013. Currently on my screen, you can see that I have Microsoft Word opened up, and in my document, I have inserted the words copy, cut, and paste. The first thing that I'm going to do is copy a word. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select the word copy. And now that I have the word copy selected, I'm going to go up into my ribbon, make sure that I'm in the home tab, and in the commands area, in the clipboard group, right next to the paste button, you will see the copy button. And what this button will do is copy your selection. So I'm going to go ahead and press this button. So now my text has been copied, but now I want to go ahead and paste this text. So what I'm going to do is put my cursor at the end of the word paste and hit enter twice on my keyboard. And now I'm going to go back to my ribbon, again home tab, and this time instead of pressing copy, I'm going to go ahead and click on the paste button. And when I do this, the word copy has been pasted in my desired location. Now I should note that when you go to paste an item, you have the option of either clicking the button or there's a drop down arrow just beneath the button. If I go ahead and press the drop down arrow, I have a variety of pasting options, such as keep source formatting, merge formatting, and keep text only. What option you choose is dependent on the effect that you want to create and the formatting that you want to keep when you copy. Now for the remainder of this video, when I talk about pasting text, I'm talking about it in the most simplistic way by simply clicking on the actual button as opposed to the drop down arrow. I just wanted to show you that this drop down arrow does give you additional paste options. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and just click in my document. So that's one way to copy a word. Another way to copy a word is once again to go ahead and select it and use the keyboard shortcut of Control C. Control C will copy. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and put my insertion point at the end of the document here and hit enter twice. And this time I'm going to go ahead and paste this word using the keyboard shortcut of Control V. That's Control V as in victory. And when I do that, you can see the word copy has been copied and now pasted in my desired location. And at this point, I want to go ahead and show you yet another way to copy. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and select the desired word that I want to copy. I've gone ahead and selected the word. And if I right click on that word, I have the option to copy. So I'm going to go ahead and click on copy. Again, I'm going to go ahead and place my insertion point at the end of my document. Hit enter twice. And this time to paste the copy, I'm going to go ahead and right click. I see my paste options. And I'm going to go ahead and keep source formatting. And as you can see, my copied word has now been pasted into my document. So that's how you copy and paste in Microsoft Word. There is one more feature that I want to show you. And that feature is how to cut in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go ahead and select the word cut. In the ribbon, in the home tab, in the clipboard group, you'll see what appears to be a button that looks like a pair of scissors. This is your cut button. If I go ahead and click on this button, my word has now disappeared. Or to put it a little bit different way, it has been cut. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and select the desired location that I want to paste that cut word. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and put it just below the word paste. 
So I'm going to go ahead and place my insertion point in that area. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the paste button in the ribbon. And as you can see, the word cut has been cut and now pasted into its new location. Another way to cut is to once again, select your desired word or words and use the keyboard shortcut of control plus X. That is control plus X. And once again, that will cut your word. And this time I'm going to go ahead and paste it above the word paste. I have placed my insertion point where I want my word to be pasted. And I'm going to go ahead and use the keyboard shortcut of control plus V to paste. And as you can see, my cut word has now been pasted in my desired location. And finally, another way to cut a word is to once again, select the word that you want to cut, right click on that word and select cut from the menu. Now that my word's been cut, I'm going to go ahead and paste it below the word paste. So I put my insertion point below the word paste and I'm going to go ahead and right click and select paste options and keep source formatting. When I click on this, my cut word has now been pasted to my desired location. So in this video, we discussed multiple ways to copy a word or words, cut a word or words, and to paste a word or words in Microsoft Word 2013.